Welcome to Willet Fillet, a series of SolidWorks video tutorials presented by the Demonic Group. In Willet Fillet, we take a look at the filleting tool in SolidWorks and adding tricky and problematic fillets to models. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demonic Group. In this installment, we'll take a look at flowing two different fillets together. The way this uh, part was modeled, these two edges don't connect in a clean chain, but are actually needing to be filleted together as the actual part requires them to be one long loop. So let's take a look at how we can add fillets to these two separate sets of edges and have them look like one continuous fillet. So here we're going to use the fillet tool to get what we can. I'm adding a variable radius fillet here and a standard constant uh, size and radius fillet here. You'll see that the two don't come together cleanly in one edge, so I may be tempted to just grab the fillet tool, maybe apply a big one inch fillet here, maybe I go up to an inch and a half, maybe just get the biggest fillet that SolidWorks will apply, it looks like an inch and a half won't work. I hit OK, inch and a quarter. We get something that looks kind of okay, we'll see, but we can kind of distinctly see the different fillets here, so maybe there's a, a better way of adding that fillet to the model instead of just applying the biggest fillet possible. So I'm going to suppress that fillet and like we've done in previous videos I'll be using the split line tool to define a new region for the fillets. So here I've just created a sketch on the default front construction plane. If I go normal to and section the model through the front plane we'll see that I am coincident this vertice and it's just a straight line. I'm doing the same thing over here because I'd like to create a better blended transition rather than these two fillets uh, hitting this uh, planar face like such. So the split line tool, I'll simply pick the faces I want to project onto and I've now split those faces into smaller sections. Now once I have the outline for the fillets together. It's just a matter of picking the faces with the delete face tool, turning delete and fill on, and making sure the tangent fill box is checked. Note that I can create two separate patches in the same feature. I don't need to do two separate features, but if I want to I could do two. However, delete face is able to create multiple patches in one go. So click OK. And we'll see here I have a smoother transition. Before the delete face you could even see the different radiuses of fillets hitting here whereas the delete face blends them out. And on this edge we now have this fillet seamlessly flowing into this fillet here. Just take a look. We see that the fillet transitions into the smaller fillet cleanly. And I did not have them modeled in one loop. So I see this a lot in, in traditional solid modeling. We have loops of edges that don't come together that need to come together. And so we can use the fillet tool to get what we want, or most of the way, and then finally the delete face tool to really tame those intersections and build a geometry that we need. So but to force these two fillets to flow into each other, I'm adding what I can with the standard fillet tool. I'm using the split line to outline a new area for this transition, and I'm using the delete and tangent fill option to complete the transition. And here's the finished transition. We see that the one fillet seamlessly flows into the other. So I hope you enjoyed this installment of Will It Fillet. Please follow the Monty Group on LinkedIn and YouTube, where we'll be announcing new videos.